Hello and welcome to Capital Jeep. My name's Jasmine and today we're going to be looking at this 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited in true blue pearl. Under the hood she's a 3.6 V6 engine pushing out 290 horsepower. In the front here we have your headlights, daytime running lights and signal lights and of course those fog lights down here at the bottom. Lots of tread left in these tires. They are Goodyear for Terras mounted on top of a factory 20 inch rim. You have your nice chrome accents indicated there on the mirror. The mirrors do defrost. You have your keyless entry, roof rails. Let me go grab the keys and I'll show you the inside. Perfect. On the key fob here, we have your unlock lock. Open up that boot, remote start and panic. But I'll show you how that keyless entry works. You'll simply put the key in your pocket or your bag. Bring your finger over this button here and the vehicle unlocks for you. It's a very handy feature to have. You have your nice black leather seating with the white stitching on there. Now the driver's seat is powered. Inside the door here we have your power locks, your power windows and your adjustable mirrors. A little bit further down the door you have your memory seating. Let me just hop on in. We have your lights down here on the left as well as the button to open up that gas cap door. Windscreen wipers on the back of the steering wheel. On the back of the steering wheel as well as your paddle shifters which you can turn your vehicle into your manual transmission mode if you wish to do so. On the steering wheel here you have your screen options, your voice recognition and Bluetooth and of course that cruise control. Now it is a push to button start so I will just go ahead and start it up for us. So you have your trash control, your ABS. Currently sitting at 58,926 kilometers, so lots of life left in her. But do speak to one of our finance managers about any extended warranty which you may wish to purchase. Just make sure that you are fully covered. And we'll just use the buttons here on the steering wheel to flick through a few of the screen options. So right now we're at your speedometer, your miles per hour, your vehicle information, your terrain, fuel economy, trip A, audio, stored messages, screen setup, and then we're back to that speedometer. Way up at the top here, you have your sunroof, your three garage door openers, the button to open up that power boot, a nice big touch screen with your radio options, having your AM, FM satellite, your media, control, your controls, sorry, for your heated seats and steering wheel, your climate control, navigation, phone and of course settings, and of course this vehicle will have the backup camera with the rear parking sensors. Hazard lights, dual climate control, front and rear defrost, those parking sensors on the rear which you can turn off if you wish to do so, econo mode, and your trash control. Now in this little cubby hole here is your auxiliary or USB 12 volt plug-in and SD card. You can just easily shut that out of the way as well. Your two cup holders. Now your terrain mode, you have your four wheel drive low, your downhill parking ascents, snow mode, sand, auto, mud and rock. So whichever the terrain you're in, you can switch it accordingly. A great size center console with lots of storage and 12 volt plug-in. Stick with me and I'll show you the rest. You have a nicer leather seating throughout, cargo nets at the back of the seat, which also holds your headsets as you do have DVD headrests. Let me just hop on in here. So of course you've got one on the back of the driver's seat and passenger seat. Now behind the center console is your two USB plugins, 150 watt plugins and heated seats. are great for kids on road trips so your rear parking sensors are just these little circles in the rear bumper here now to open up the power tailgate there is just a little button here in the handle simply squeeze that and it will open up for you tons and tons of cargo space full-size spare tire underneath this mat here in order to close the boot here, there is just a little button on the left hand side. Push that and mind your head and it will close for you.
Do for another quick peek in the back here. This middle seat does fold down, just to give you those two extra cup holders. Keyless entry on the passenger front, as well as your power locks, your power windows, and that powered seat. And a great size glove compartment with your own spaniel. So if you'd like to take this gorgeous Jeep for a test drive, come on down to Capital Jeep and hopefully we see you soon. Take care.